So we look at the impedance for a resistor, a spectrum, for a capacitor, for a capacitor and a resistor in series, and a capacitor and a resistor in parallel. Now let's look at the impedance spectrum for a electrode reaction without diffusion uh, limitation, which means the mass transfer is relatively fast compared with electrode reaction. Okay, and quite often people use so-called simplified Randall cell to represent or to simplify for an electrode reaction. Quite often it looks something like this. It looks something like this. It contains three elements. The first one is a R ohm ohmic resistance. Ohmic resistance R ohm. It typically represents the ohmic resistance coming from some of the electrolyte. It may also include ohmic resistance from the electrode, but quite often that part is very small and can be neglected compared with uh, electrolyte resistance. And this R ohm behaves like an ideal resistor. Then we would have C D underscore D for double layer capacitor, C for capacitance. This one, okay, it represents at the electrode electrolyte interface. Typically, during um, electrochemical reaction, there will be charge, local charge, separation of charge, positive charge and negative charge along the interface between the electrode, electronic conductor, and the electrolyte, ionic conductor. Okay, there will be capacitance over there, and that's represented by CD. And finally, we would have RCT, CT for charge transfer resistance, charge transfer resistance. And it represents the effect that slow down the kinetic reaction. Of course, we assume no diffusion or mass transfer limitation. All the slowing down effect is coming from the electrode um, uh, activation, okay, RCT. And then using what we learned before, for these three elements combined, the impedance would just be the impedance for the first element, the ohmic one, which is just the R ohm, plus impedance for the second one. The second one in, is in parallel, okay? So we can write it as one over, and then for each of these, you would write one over the impedance, one over impedance for RCT, that's this term, and one over capacitor, and the impedance for a capacitor would be J omega CD. Okay, so this is just another way to write the overall impedance for a capacitor and the resistor in parallel. And uh, using what we learned before for capacitance and the resistance in parallel, we can ex expand this. The overall impedance for the three element uh, uh, would be ohmic resistance plus for the other two in parallel, we would have the real term and the imaginary term. And then if we combine the real term, we would have the real term for this overall three element uh, Randall cell would be ohmic resistance plus RCT divided by one plus omega square C square R square. Okay, so this gives us the real a part for the overall impedance. And then for the imaginary part, it's just uh, the last term, minus, and then omega c r square divided by one plus omega square c square r square. That will give us the imaginary part. And then if we do the same manipulation as before, we would arrive again at a equation for a circle. The circle center would be at half R plus R omega, while the circle's um, radius would be R over two. And then if we plot, if we plot the imaginary versus real, and similar as before, quite often we put minus sign in front of imaginary, okay? We would again, have a semicircle. We would again have a semicircle. Start from here, semicircle going 
to the other side. And the center, the center would be along the horizontal axis and uh, at the location of half r plus r omega. Okay, that is center, and the radius would be half of r. And uh, as what we learned before, when the radio frequency omega goes towards infinity, which means extremely high frequency, extremely high frequency. Uh, look at here, when omega goes towards infinity, the denominator becomes infinity and this whole fraction becomes zero. So we would be at here, r uh, omega. And then when omega goes towards infinity, the no denominator is omega squared times this one. Numerator is omega, so it comes to be one over omega becomes zero. So when omega goes towards infinity, we will be at this high frequency intercept. That will be our r omega, the ohmic resistance, which means the distance from here to here that will give us the so-called ohmic resistance uh, here for this Randall cell. Then, on the other hand, when omega, the radio frequency, goes towards zero, goes to uh, near DC, very low frequency, okay? Then, when omega goes towards zero, the denominator becomes one, and then the RE, the real part, becomes R omega plus RCT. And uh, for the imaginary part, when omega goes towards zero, the denominator becomes one and the numerator becomes zero. So we would be here. Then the, the low frequency intercept would just be R ohm plus RCT. So based on this, if we can measure the impedance uh, spectrum and assuming the contribution from the counter electrode is negligible, then the overall impedance is coming all from the working electrode. And from here, we can get the uh, ohmic resistance associated with primary electrolyte. And we can also get the charge transfer resistance. We can also get the charge transfer resistance if, if the diffusion limitation is negligible. If there's no diffusion, the species can come and go um, as fast as uh, it needed, okay? And then we would, for this circuit, we would have know the two terms. If we measure impedance, measure one impedance, we would know ohmic resistance, we would know charge transfer resistance if there's no diffusion limitation if the diffusion is very fast, mass transfer is very fast. To get the capacitance, to get the capacitance, we have to use the top point, top point for this impedance semicircle. Um, specifically, remember the vertical uh, coordinate would be imaginary part. So if we do the derivative of the vertical coordinate versus the um, radio frequency. If we do this and uh, make the slope, make the slope uh, to be zero, if we work out the mathematics, simplify, then we would have this relationship. C R square equals to omega square times R C to the power three r to the power of four. And if we simplify it, we would get um, omega times rc equals one, our omega would be one over rc. So if we measure the impedance uh, spectrum, and then we will know at the top point what would the uh, frequency be. And then from that, if we know the frequency, we know the rct, then we can calculate the double layer capacitance CD from this um, measurement. So again, this slide shows how we can uh, measure impedance spectrum for a one single electrode. And then based on that single electrode, uh, electrode impedance spectrum, assuming no diffusion limitation, the mass transfer is very fast, then from that we can get three information. One is the ohmic resistance for that associated with the 
electrolyte release near that electrode, and then the that electrode charge transfer resistance, and then also for that electrode electrolyte interface, the double layer um, capacit capacitance. Okay, we can get three important parameters related to kinetics for the electrode reaction of interest.